The first race of the year for WMX over on the right-hand side. Duncan got a good jump, but so too did Papermeyer, but they were both outdone by Amandine Verstappen. Linvolk was there in fourth in red. Just behind in orange was the uh, KTM of Sara Anderson. As everybody sorted themselves out, Duncan was quick to move from third to first through the first few corners on that 151 bike at DRT Kawasaki. Around about eighth place at this stage was the number 85 of Nancy van der Ven. But it was Duncan who led the Belgian. Here's where van der Ven fell. She got into fourth and towards the end of the opening lap, picked herself up in 12th, and she would have a mountain to climb. A lap later, whilst in the lead, Duncan fell from first to third. That handed the advantage to Verstappen, but Duncan was quickly on the gas. She made that pass on Papamaya to get herself into second. She had a bit of a fight on her hands to make a move on uh, Verstappen, but at the next hill, the Kiwi did jump into the lead. And from there, she never really looked back. Behind them, the battle for fourth and fifth was between Sara Anderson and Linvolt. Just a couple of positions back was uh, the 66 of Megan Rutledge, but she soon got caught in the uh, latter stage of the race by the 85 of Nancy van der Ven, who moved up into six, and then that move on Limbaugh put her into fifth. And then soon after that, around the outside of Sarah Anderson to move up into fourth, and that's where the Dutch girl would stay. The fight for second, though, between Amandine, Amandine Verstappen and Larissa Pampermeyer went all the way to the chequered flag, but it was Courtney Duncan who was victorious in WMX, race one. Verstappen came home in second, and third was Larissa Pampermeyer in a photo finish.